lot of people are curious about what exactly this new standard-based education system being implemented in our public schools is all about. How power school works? And how is all of this beneficial to parents and students? And how does all of this tie into the Ministry of Education's Plan 2022? Well, I'm sitting down with the right people from the department and the Ministry of Education to find out all about the standards-based education system, power school, and Plan 2022. A standards-based grading education system encompasses four key areas. The first area being the principles of standards-based grading and philosophy. The second being standards-based instruction, which is the teaching and the learning part. And then proficiency scales, those are instructional tools that the teacher bases everything they do in the classroom on. That's planning, instruction, assessment, and feedback. And then it's the great reporting system. That's that communication piece to parents and other stakeholders. The journey to becoming a standards-based education system began in 2015. It was around that time that parents, educators, the department, and previous boards of education expressed that a long-standing barrier to student success was rooted in how they were being evaluated. Standards-based grading is an integral part of improving the quality of education for all students across the Bermuda public school system because it will result in the accurate measurement of the mastery of standards. This system is not open-ended or subjective. It guarantees consistency, fairness, and equity in the grading across the system. It is based on a specific set of standards that students need to meet for each grade level and subject. In a standards-based education system, students receive scores from zero to four. Zero means no evidence. If a student receives a score of one, they require lots of help and support from the teacher. At a two, they've acquired the basic concepts and skills that are connected to a standard. If they receive a score of three, students have met the grade level expectation. And if students receive a score of four, they can accomplish concepts and skills that go beyond the grade level expectation. Well, our goal is to become a standards-based education system. And in order to achieve that, it really will require all of our key stakeholders working together. The Department of Education, for example, is responsible for ensuring that our teachers and our principals receive the training that is required in order to implement the practices and principles of standards-based grading. In January of this year, we actually commenced uh, the training with uh, primary and middle school teachers and principals, and that training will continue um, over the next four years. Also, uh, as we look at the training and the rollout, it's going to be extremely important for our teachers, first of all, to implement what they are learning on an ongoing basis and commit to doing that well. It will be important for our principals to ensure that they are visiting our classrooms and observing teachers as they implement the practices for standards-based uh, grading. And so teachers and principals will play a critical role. When we consider the work of the officers at the Department of Education, they too will be responsible for going out to schools and uh, going into classrooms to examine the practices that are taking place. I believe that if all stakeholders uh, Department of Education staff and officers, our teachers and our principals work together, we can successfully implement a standards-based grading. Now that we understand standards-based grading a bit better, it's important to address the other piece to this puzzle, power school. The Department of Education Student Information System is power school. It has three major benefits. One is that parents and students can monitor their own individual success and progress during the school year. The second is that teachers can monitor their classroom progress as well as individual student progress. And system-wide, we can monitor comparative data across schools. Power School is used in 88 out of 100 top school districts and in over 70 countries. 
The benefits of the system are improved security, lower cost of ownership, stronger performance, and backup and data recovery. So now that we've learned about the standard space education system and power school, again, how does all of this fit into the Ministry of Education's Plan 2022? Plan 2022 communicates that high quality instruction and the improvement of student outcomes is a priority for this government. The implementation of a standard-based education system will help us to achieve this and ensure that students that pass through the Bermuda public school system are able to compete both locally and globally as a result of their experiences within our schools.